when you produce on this uh, kind of press, at the end of the machine there comes out of a sheet that is finished. I know uh, my title very long because I used to work at uh, Proust, international book production here in Turnhout. After that, I went into the VIGC. So we did some uh, nice projects together, um, but before we did some uh, projects around repress and so on. So 30 years, more or less. The history of Turnhout is very, very easy to, uh, to explain. In the year 1700, one of the guys, a Dutch guy, has to flee from the Protestant church and came into Turnout. He made a printing company over here. And from that printing company, Prepols, all the other companies are born. So every director or every company is someone who has worked with Prepols and made his own company, like Cartemundi, like Van Genechten. I think even yours, but I'm not sure. It's more or less the, the, the situation here. The cold foil for me is an enrichment of your, of your product. In the early days, a printing company did only print and waited for some customers to do some printing job. Nowadays, I think that a printer needs to make sure that the product that they are printing has some added value to sell the product of the customer. If you can enrich your uh, product, it's always better to sell the product of your customer. I think that the, the demand for the embellishment is very high. Because for me, what is very important, the quality is something that we have at the moment. If you do not have the correct quality, you're gone. The workflow has to be put very nice together. But on the other hand, and the, the tactility of your product, that is the way that you should look into the future. If you can have some tactility of your product, do some smell, do some feeling, do some seeing in your printed product, there's an added value. If a customer takes a product or sees a product that is very nice, he reaches out to get the product. If he feels the product, he's going to buy that. That's the big differentiator that you have compared with the digital technology that you have for the marketing devices. I think you need to have a very good marketing. Your product that you have, you should have a very good look into the product that your customer wants to produce and what the meaning is of that product. So I think if you do inkjet or uh, toner based or offset based, that is not so important. You need to make sure that your process is very good under control. That is why you need the knowledge to do that. It is what VRGC also wants to provide to, to them, to make sure that they have the right knowledge to get there and to say, okay, what do you want to bring to your customer? What device do you need to bring that on the quality that you need for that product? I'm uh, with the company for almost five years. I've been recently appointed as uh, general manager of the company, what is a great uh, honor for me. I met the company um, almost 10 years ago. I was a um, self-employee at that time. Somebody showed me Callfold. I fell uh, immediately in love with uh, the product, the company, but also the philosophy of the company. It's quite an, a new uh, way of doing business uh, that we have here. And this is still the, the case today. And this is what I like in the company, also in the product, but for sure in the people uh, working uh, at this plant. And that's why I accepted uh, my new role and I'm very glad for, for that. I think our, our mantra is uh, make you shine. We like to print with uh, cold foil for sure. At the end of the day, we, we like what we do. 
We like our job, we like the product we print, and eventually we, we want to make the people uh, happy. We want to make the people uh, shining uh, with the product we make for them, and that's, uh, that's the way we, we go. I didn't decide myself to go to Corfo, and this is a decision that was being made by the owners of the company in 2008. I felt uh, like I was involved in the decision. It's absolutely because I'm an important guy. No, it's because we met each other at the same time. They just decided to, to enter the business. But the question was, yeah, which business? We like the product, we like the technology, but there is no business at all. Because we had to create together a kind of new business. You have two, two points of view. You have industrial point of view and you have business point of view. Industrial, I may say, Technology is there. We have to learn the technology, but we are quite good in challenging the technology. So that's all one of our strengths. Uh, we are quite good in, in go further than, uh, than first uh, foreseen. On that part, you are quite efficient. Then you have the business point of view. The business point of view is uh, also a very good one because we go to the market saying, hey guys, uh, you dream of it. Uh, everybody around uh, tell you it is not possible. We will try to meet what you want to, to achieve. And that's a great part in our business. We are able to be very efficient on industrial side point of view, also on uh, business or marketing point of view. If you talk about uh, added value or more margin or business rentability, for sure, you have to look at figures. But to be honest, we first uh, fall in love with the, with the technology. And it's because you met so much problem in the past, you think yourself, uh, this is the good way to, to handle, this is the way further, this is uh, the good direction. But to be honest, we didn't make uh, a lot of uh, market uh, research or, or something like that. For sure, we asked people around you and we have some discussion and some brainstorm. But still, uh, if you believe in it, you can make it. And that's a little bit uh, what, uh, what we see each day around, uh, for sure, with, with the person uh, working in the company. Coming uh, back on, on your question around uh, margin, for sure, this is special. Uh, uh, this is like a collectible. This is uh, like something uh, not affording each day for everyone. We know that. You can make it nice and uh, original without uh, having to pay a big uh, amount of money. Uh, that's our mission too. We help people to, to develop, but also people to make it affordable. I'm Bart from uh, Matisse, and I will explain you the process for the finished job that we filmed for uh, Inkish. And the process I will explain you sheet by sheet how we made this special production. And when we saw the first sheet, there is a glue, a glue ink, a grey ink, and with this glue ink we print the first form and on this first form, you can see over here that the foil will be attached. And then you have, in the second print tower, the foil, the silver foil. And the silver foil is attached on the glue. Very, very detailed, even in uh, small particles. When we stop, we will have a white sheet with silver, but we won't stop because we continue with the full color printing. And with the full color printing, we have the cyan, magenta and the black on top of the foil and also uh, close to the foil. And so we will have a finished product. And this finished product uh, is the silver with CMYK overprint and it gives you the possibility to transform the silver in all possible colors of foil. You can have a, a blue color foil, a yellow color, a green. It's, it's a mix of all colors and it's done in one print run. And on top of it, there is a gloss dispersion varnish to protect the 
production and uh, to give a, a good finished result. Five years ago, when I started, there were a lot of uh, things. Uh, we used very uh, different kinds of foils uh, in the company, and the reason why I started was also to reduce uh, the waste of the foil. The, the foil is also very expensive, and uh, that's why I try to be more efficient uh, in all stages of uh, the printing uh, department. Uh, with uh, this uh, particular Finfall uh, unit, we can also do a full width of 102 uh, centimeters. Uh, uh, now with this one we can reduce it and we can multifold uh, use. So uh, we can change it to different kind of uh, widths to uh, reduce the cost of the printing uh, sheet. 20 years I have worked already in a normal printing company, so I have a lot of experience about full color printing. For me it was a goal to find something new in this business, more specific and more high quality printing possibilities and the combination of the cold foil in combination with the full color print in one pass uh, through the machine was for me brand new and I saw this uh, results when I came the first time at uh, Graafs Group Matthijs and uh, I was very excited uh, about that because uh, the result is uh, much more than a normal uh, print. It's uh, not that easy, full color printing is just uh, uh, put ink on, uh, on paper, it's more than that, but uh, when, when we use uh, our cold foil, we have to put first uh, glue on it, then we uh, put our foil on the glue, and afterwards we print on the foil the different colors in uh, metallic. Uh, so it's not that easy because the drying process uh, is uh, not the same than uh, to the normal uh, uh, full color printing uh, jobs. Uh, that's why we can't uh, print and deliver it uh, directly. Uh, we use conventional uh, inks. That's why we need to have uh, more than 12 hours to dry uh, this quality of uh, prints. When it's uh, 24 hours dry, uh, the result is uh, good enough to uh, go to the finishing uh, department in the company. The possibility on this machine is that we can go uh, in two different uh, types of uh, printing. So it's a hybrid machine. So we can print conventional inks. It's more for packaging in food uh, related. Uh, uh, the UV possibilities are also used in packaging, but for our types of clients, we use it in more cover and uh, other kind of uh, processing than the conventional uh, process. Uh. The difference is the ink. When you use UV ink, the ink is directly dry and you can uh, finish uh, everything. The difference with the conventional ink is uh, a food safe ink we use for that and uh, that's why we can use this also in the, in the food uh, packaging uh, beverage. Yeah. I think so, most of our clients are uh, also printers. We have also food packaging uh, production uh, companies who are consulting us to print uh, uh, sheets for them. More possibilities in the future, I think more cardboard can be printed in the pharmaceutical and in the other kind of uh, uh, industries. But the main is at the moment printing sheets for also printing companies is most of the time plano sheets, uh, those uh, full sheets printed with full color so they can finish this as a book cover for a book or something else uh, like that. We uh, searched on the market, we had already a few years, uh, I started five years ago, but Graafs uh, Group Matthijs did already uh, run on different kind of machines, uh, this cold foil uh, technology. Why we did invest in this one, uh, the, the possibilities are that interesting that when you produce on this uh, kind of press, at the end of the machine there comes out of a sheet that is finished. 
The register is very important and when you do it offline, the register is not uh, that easy to get uh, perfect. Uh, in this kind of uh, processing, it's going to be in the first time at the spot and it will be perfect uh, when it comes out uh, of the machine. It was also a perfect fit, but we had experience with it. The first press was also a König Bauer uh, machine and we were uh, satisfied about the quality. And, and uh, that's why we uh, consulting also uh, other kind of uh, producers of uh, printing uh, presses. Uh, but we know the technology of uh, König and Bauer was, uh, was good. And that's why we have chosen uh, for the same uh, kind of quality uh, press.